what's up guys my name is youtube welcome back to yet another video i hope you all doing well in this video i'm going to give you the 50 transitions pack these transitions are in format of preset it means you can use it in every version of adobe premiere pro even if you have a cs version of adobe premiere pro it doesn't matter anymore these transitions are completely copyright free and commercial free it means you can use it for your personal use without getting any problem and issues so without further any ado let's jump into the video and let's see how we can download this transitions for free and how we can use it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm currently using 2020 version of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use even a CS version, CS6 version, CC version, every version will be workable with this transition. First of all, I'm just dropped two footages. This footage I'm downloaded from Mixkit. You can also get the link in the description if you want it. So first of all, I have to go to the effects. If this effects panel isn't appear there, don't worry about it. Just go to the windows and now I'm show the effects control will be checked and now I'm just go to the presets and now I'm just right click here and now go to the import preset now I'm select the preset after extraction the zip file that I provide you you can get the 50 transition preset file I'm just select it and press open and after a few seconds your file will be appear right there so now first of all we have to create the adjustment layer for that I'm just go to the project panel right click there and now in a new item I will go to the adjustment layer you can also apply your preset on your main footage but it doesn't work more better because if you later you want to change your transition duration you can't do that you can't change anything in your transition work so the best thing and the best method to use this preset use the adjustment layer and just drop this on my footage above our footage and now I have to cut the adjustment layer this transitions work better with a 10 frame per second like 5 frames on each side for that we have to count the 5 frames on each side with the respect between the two footage so now I'm just right arrow key like one, two, three, four, five. So here is our five frames on the right side. I'll just make a cut right there and cut our adjustment layer. I'm just press control K, make a cut right there and deleted our right side extra layer. Now move back. Now I have to count the five frames on left side as well. So here is our five frames on left side. I'm just make a cut right there by press control K and deleted our left adjustment layer. So here is our 10 frames adjustment layer on each side. Now let's apply some of the transition on our adjustment layer for a test purpose. Let's apply some of the shake transition on our adjustment layer. I open the shake transition pack right there and I go the two different file with a single transition. It it's actually the single transition for a different adjustment layer like we have to cut our adjustment layer between the very mid for that I'm just go to the mid of adjustment layer and make a cut right there by press control K so we have a two different part of adjustment layer like five frames on each side now apply the shake left on left side and right on the right side now let's take a look it works or not now as you can be see it's work very perfectly so keep it in mind some of the transitions contain two different files for that you have to cut your adjustment layer with between the very mid like a five frames on each side of adjustment layer and some of the transitions contain a single file so you don't need to cut your adjustment layer on a 10 frame per second adjustment layer you just drag and drop the transition and you're done with your work so yeah here is the video of today i hope you like this transition pack if you like this transition pack give me a big thumbs up and comment below if you have any question about this video or if you have any problem about this video please let me know i will try my best to reply your answer as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one